All right, we're gonna cut right into it. Uh, we're back. More training Tuesday. Jab. Still me. Still HF. Yeah. Jab. No way you're point up him in. That ain't you, bro. Come on, go to your Falcon. Take that green Falcon too. There it is. <laughs> All right. So Jab versus Sapphire. Uh, Sapphire's been in the scene for quite a while. Uh, Sapphire seems like a really nice person, but like, I barely talk to him. Like, th they're here every once in a blue moon nowadays, but like, their snake kind of nice. So let's see how well the snake can fare against uh, Jav. Oh my god. Ooh! That was kind of cool. Damn. Alright, well they got a hot start to the set. Yeah. Yeah, just... They managed to cover literally everything. They knew it was going to happen before like the combo even started. <laughs> just really confident that spacing. That patience is incredible. Yeah. It's good timing. Now, let's not pretend that, you know, like, Falcon can't do similar things. Jab just needs, like, one good hit to, you know, bring it back. Yeah, there you yes go. Yes, sir. All right. Very explosive set v ahead of us. Literally. I wonder if that uh, grenade was intentional. This option coverage is crazy. That's scary, yo. Yeah. The Nikita forced an air dodge, and the up tilt covered perfectly. Yeah. Once again, like, all, all Jav needs is one hit to just bring us back. I feel like Sapphire is much more aware of that now. So we're not going to see, like, another, you know, up air ladder into knee. But we'll definitely be seeing more stuff like that. Yeah. I feel like that interaction is kind of like, that was clean coverage. Nice. I feel like that interaction kind of, like, is scaring Sapphire into shield. Although, they're not playing poorly out of shields. Like, oh, absolutely There's always one grenade live. Yeah. Absolutely not, but, you know, like... They're definitely respecting Jav a bit more after, you know, getting thrown around like that. You know, it doesn't help that Snake's on the heavier end, so... Oh, yeah. Like, if Jav does manage to get in on them, like, that's, that's bad. I'm surprised it didn't work. Oh, that didn't kill. Can we just like talk about like both these players like mental resilience? Yeah, they're just I, getting I, swung around on they, both they, ends. They both got like completely wrecked for their first stocks and they're playing like nothing happened. I feel like if you're playing either of these characters, that's just sort of how you have to accept that like, that's the way yeah. that Smash goes. <laughs> Alright, that was a very exciting game one. Just, Mission accomplished. Just a super confident play from both ends. I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna commit to playing either of these characters, like you, you really to, do gotta play like you're always just gonna win. Yeah. Basically you gotta play like an NBA young boy fan. Let's see, town was the pick. I like it. More space to maneuver. Although I feel like both of these characters just covered the space really well. Yeah. I feel like uh, Jav just really wants those, like, small horizontal blast zones so that he can get his, like, you know, like, cool confirms, like, easier. Three, two, yeah. One, because as far as I'm concerned, I feel like Snake mostly kills off the top. Which is a fair assessment. Yeah. When you consider the explosions and uh, up tilt as, like, the main sources of kills. However, this is giving Sapphire more space to, you know set up all like the crazy stuff that you know killed jab in the last game yeah especially because one thing i've re i've realized is that sapphire is really good with committing to covering like one select space i feel like a lot of people who play zoners often get overwhelmed when playing on the larger stages because they feel the need to control everything yeah and like one of the best one of the best ways to do that is you know just like Heavily condition your opponent into, you know, not going for that one option. So that when they inevitably do, then, you know, you just do stuff to them. I definitely feel like they, uh... Good read. I was getting an up tilt. I feel like a lot of snakes would just... Yo, the, the forward smash? The gall on this individual. <laughs> so far, I was not content with getting one clip. No, they wanted two in one set. That's wild. <laughs> they out for blood. <laughs> they are out for blood. 
And like, Jav isn't giving it to them for free. Like, this is a very bloody fight for Clips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they both got one, so... <laughs> yeah. That was the same thing that got Jav killed earlier, but like... He definitely spaced that just a little bit better. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was very reactable. Oh, I didn't even notice that uh, Snake had a grenade in hand. Yup. So far as making sure that they always have at least one placed on the ground, and then they'll always just have the backup for if they need it on shield. Which is why I feel like the shield players look so good. Big Speaking boom. of... Oh man, this might be a, like a, like a clean three stock. Yo, I didn't oh even my realize. god, that platform. <laughs> My guy timed that perfectly. <gasps> yeah, yeah. I thought like he got really antsy. Is? Yeah, that was a three stock. Sapphire played that incredibly well. 